the sacraments of matrimony that you are about to vow to one another in sickness and in health, in good and in bad, that you will treasure and love each other every day of your life. Like Jesus said, I am the head, the church is my body, but I sacrifice for my church. And so as much as you have said it, Chris, you're willing to sacrifice for Sherilyn, you're willing to sacrifice for the children, for your family, vice versa. And as always, make your commitment in God's grace. This love is like the ocean That's crashing over me It's like falling rain on the driest plains As far as eyes can see And this love is like the trees That are looking down on top this love is like no other, it's right where I want to be. Nobody loves you like I do, and I never want them to. Nobody loves you like I do, and I can't. My dear Chris and Sherilyn, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. This love is like the church bed. As loud as they can ring In the good man's face on his wedding day When he sees his bride to be It's like a little girl holding daddy's hand For everyone to see Yeah, this love is like no other It's taken over I've seen my sister happy, but honestly, this is the happiest I've ever seen her, with someone other than her kids. And because of this, I knew Chris is the one for her. Their journey has never been easy, and their relationship is always put to the test. But I saw that their love for each other is greater than any hardship that comes their way, and that this love is worth fighting for. And so my brothers and sisters, I solemnly pronounce that Christopher and Sherilyn Padua are husband and wife.